Are those all of my swag friends that I see? Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? How's it going? How you guys doing? Hey, Yali659, all the way from Detroit, Michigan. Hello, Court Nadeau. Hello, Polo G09 in California. How you guys doing today? I hope your day is amazing. I hope it's wonderful. I hope it's all of the above, okay? Hey, we have Melvin from Indiana. Melvin says, good luck to everybody. I like that. We have Debbie from Slidell, Louisiana. I've never heard of Slidell, Louisiana before, but sounds cool. All right. We have someone from Myrtle Beach. We have a lot of you guys. Oh, my voice is going on. One second. <clears throat> you know, I have to clear before the game because I'm sure you'd rather me clear now before we start to win some money. So anyways, you guys, I was looking at <clears throat> are the national days today. And today's National Read a Book Day, right? So here's my question for you before we start. Do you consider listening to an audiobook as reading a book? I want to know. Because if I'm being honest, the last time I actually quote unquote read a book was when I listened to an audiobook. So <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys say? Allo Rouse says yes. Anitra says no. Lizzie says yes. Matt says no. Ooh, there's a lot of it's almost like 50 50. There's a lot of yes, no, yes, no. Jocelyn says no. Swag user says no. Okay, you guys, listen. Okay. I okay, I understand. It's not quote unquote reading, but you are reading the book with your ears. I guess it's more of like listening to a story. So there we go. Look, one person said, Who cares? I guess one person says, Look, that's none of my business. It's not my concern. You do what you want to do. Anyways, you guys, we're about to start the game, so I hope you're ready. I want you to take your deep breath. On the count of three, breathe in for me. One, two, three. Let it out. And you know what? Speaking of national days, you guys know it's also National Coffee Ice Cream Day. So let's take a moment to recognize one of the most underrated ice cream flavors before you play. The mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. Yes, people. Yes. And listen, that is not my I don't know if that's my personal opinion, but hey. So, anywho, time to scoop a bunch of random facts out of your memory banks as you play for today's grand prize, you guys. You want to see? You want to see? Bada bing, bada boom. Look at that. That is $1,000. And if you can correctly answer all 10 of our multiple choice general trivia questions, you're going to win your share of it, all right? So, in this game, you'll earn one bonus SB for every single question that you get right after question number one, even if you've already been eliminated. Now, if you are eliminated from grand prize contention, you're going to need to claim your bonus SB at the end of the game in order to keep them. You you know, and that's really simple. All you got to do is uh, click the button at the end of the game. Boom. Now, if you win the game, your bonus is claimed automatically because that's a perk of being a winner. Also, if you're looking for more SB outside of what you already win from today's game, make sure to click more ways to earn button in the main menu at any time and you'll be taken to an exclusive offer wall with opportunities to earn SB towards your daily goal. All right. It's always there and worth checking out after the game and any time the game's not happening. Now, I think it's time. The comments are melting away just like that coffee ice cream does. So we can dig into the game, you guys. So let's kick things off with question numero uno. Let's go. What object is generally removed from a golf hole prior to putting? A flag, a rabbit, or a series of colored handkerchiefs? What object is generally removed? Now, if you're able to get a hole in one or sink the ball from the fairway, then you're really accurate because you're putting the ball into a hole with a flag sticking out of the middle of it. You heard what I said? Flip, flip, flag, people. A flag is the correct answer. 30,097 of you guys got that one right, and you knew that the flag. Is removed from the ball. Okay, that's 98% of you guys. That's how you start off a game. Am I right? Or am I right? All right, you guys, let's move on to the next question. This question is number two, and it has one bonus SB. So um, let's get to it. Question two. What year did the People's Choice Awards begin? 1883, 1901, or 1975? It's your choice. So you tell me. You know, enough with all the entertainers congratulating themselves or being given awards by the press. What do people think? What do the people think? That's what matters. We started to find out at the first award ceremony in 1975. 1975 is when the People's Choice Awards came out. 
That's 28,632 of you guys who got the one right. And you knew that it was 1975. I think you guys just used the process of elimination. You're like, mm, mm. probably wasn't any televised award shows in 1883, huh? So you, you made the right answer. Or you chose the right answer, I should say. All right, you guys, let's move on to the next question worth one bonus SB. Here's question number three. Where in your body would you find gastric acids? Your stomach, your heart, or your brain? Where would you find gastric acids? Think about what I just said. Now, without gastric acids, your body would have no way to break down the food you eat while also neutralizing bacteria, all of which happens where? in the stomach all right the stomach Twenty nine thousand nine hundred and sixty six of you guys got the one right and you knew that it was the stomach <laughs> listen i'm laughing because i was like do i say it or do i not but i was going to say listen where do you feel the most gassy let's be honest here gastric acids and you guys chose correctly 99 percent of you guys knew that it was the stomach and hey 273 of you guys have rejoined so i think it's time to move on let's go to question number four with one bonus sb what wealthy family's fortune came in part from smuggling opium? Vanderbilt, Carnegie, or Astor? Vanderbilt, Carnegie, or Astor? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now listen, you guys, forget railroad, rail, I, ooh, I can't say the word, I can't say it. Forget railroads and steel and coal. This family went Scarface in order to build their generational wealth so the next time you hear Aster, you better know what they were dealing, okay? Aster is the correct answer. 18,582 of you guys got the one right, and you knew that it was Aster. And maybe you can say railroad better than I can. Bada bing, bada boom. A lot of you guys actually chose Vanderbilt and Carnegie. We had over 11,000 of you guys who got that one wrong. But I'm going to give you a second because why not? Rejoin, rejoin, rejoin. All right, we're at 9,000. Once we get to 9,100, I will move on to the next question. You ready? All right, we made it. Moving on to question number five, worth one bonus SB. Let's get to it. What playground game is played with a volleyball tied to a pole? Dodgeball, tetherball, or pickleball? A volleyball tied to a pole. Now, using only your speed and strength, you have got to get the ball and cord wrapped completely around the pole in your direction before your opponent can do it in theirs. Let me tell you something. That's exactly how you play, how you play tetherball. Tetherball is the correct answer. 26,822 of you guys knew that it was tetherball. That's literally 98%. I'm proud of that one. Sadly, though, I'll say that I don't know if the kids nowadays would know what tetherball is because when I was in school, they took all the tetherball uh, games away. All right? So, hey, hopefully they have brought tetherball back. Moving on to the next question. Worth one bonus SB. Here's question number six. According to Mental Floss, the phrase... Beat a dead horse originally referred to what group of people? Sailors, bankers, or alchemist? Sailors, bankers, or alchemist? Now, when you paid in advance and spent all your money on booze back in the 17th century, it was referred to as dead horse time for sailors who weren't really working because they had no financial motivation. All right, they were just there. All right. Sailors is the correct answer. 18,809 of you guys got it right, and you knew that sailors were the correct answer, or was the correct answer, I should say. Boom, bada bing, bada boom. You guys did well. Moving on to the next question, worth one bonus says B. Here's question numero siete, number seven. Which insurance company uses an agent named Jake in its commercials? The General, Progressive, or State Farm? I have a lot of faith in you guys for this question, by the way. I'm very excited to see the answers or the results. Now, you can catch him mingling with celebrities and commercials, and he's even a character in NBA 2K22. Jake from State Farm has quickly become a cultural icon. You guys knew it was Jake. Don't play with Jake. 20,106 of you guys knew that State Farm was the correct answer. Ah, what's up, Jake? 97% of you guys got it right. And I'm not shocked by that one bit. Believe it or not, a few of you guys chose the general and some of you guys chose progressive and that's okay. Moving on to the next question worth one bonus SB. Here's question number eight. 
The Monkees had a hit song about the last train to what location? Clarksville, the moon, or nap time? Last train to what location? Now, you didn't expect the Monkees to be political in those early days, but this song is about a young man going off to the Vietnam War, afraid he won't be back. Clarksville is the correct answer, everybody. 18,885, you guys got it right. And you knew that Clarksville was the name. The last train to Clarksville, you guys. Look at you. 94% of you guys got that. We only have two questions left. And um, you guys are doing well, so let's keep it moving. Moving on to question number nine, worth one bonus SB. What Michael Lewis baseball book was turned into a 2011 movie starring Brad Pitt? Moneyball, hardball, or softball? We know ball's in the name. Okay, we know that much, but which one is it? That's the question. Now, the book, like the movie, shows how Oakland Athletics GM Billy Bean used advanced analytics to build his team into a contender with almost no cash available. I said cash. I think you know what it is. Money ball is the correct answer. And 18,306 of you guys have made it this far. And guess what? You, my friends, are ready for our final question. Now, you guys want to earn SB while playing yet another fun mobile game? Join the world's best gin rummy game and play live with millions of real players. Install gin rummy stars for iOS or Android and complete level 40 within 10 days to earn 5,000 SB. You heard what I said? I said 5,000 SB. Come on now. You got to be a U.S. player to take advantage of this opportunity. So make sure to check it out after the game. All right. You guys, one more deep breath. I feel like I need one. And you probably need one, too, for your nerves. So let's do it. One, two, three. Breathe in. Let it out. All right. Final question. Worth one bonus SB. Here's question number 10. Which of these TV shows features a character with superpowers? The West Wing, NYPD Blue, or The Boys? Which features a character with superpowers? You know, what would it really be like if superheroes existed? Now, this series, based on the comic books of the same name, has them as corporately controlled monsters being hunted down by who? The boys. The boys is the correct answer, everybody. 16,866 of you guys knew that answer. And you, my friends, are splitting a grand prize. Pew, 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 pew. Congratulations, everybody. Very happy for you. Look at, look at this. Look at you beautiful winners up there. We have Paige SM727. We have Tricky2022. We have Govinda Karump and JWOW1015 to name a few. Shout out to all you guys. And now that you have all these new SB in your account, you already know what you got to do with them, right? You got to redeem them for PayPal cash or gift cards to Amazon and Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other absolutely amazing, fantastic places. Ah, that was a game, wasn't it? That was fun. Thank you guys so much for playing along and winning, everyone. You know, we appreciate it. We're going to see you tomorrow for yet another round. And uh, my name is Ashola. This is Swagbus Live, and I'm out of here.